record this there is somebody riding a dirt bike around so sorry for the noise but I am I haven't made a cutting arrangement in a long time you know a cutting arrangement is just taking some cuttings and putting it in dry soil and you know it looks pretty and then it will root so I haven't done that in a while and this plant here uh, I like it but I don't like the way it's growing in here in the middle I mean, it, I think it'll fill in, but I am going to take some cuttings just so that I can multiply the plant as well. And, um, yeah, that's what I want to want to do. So I'm just going to go around and maybe take some cuttings from a few plants and then I'll show you guys what I do with it. Okay, guys, so I took a few. So I, you see this, um, stem right here. It's almost, you know, like gone. What I did is, um... The ones that were attached to that stem, I trimmed, and I'm gonna leave them there, hope, hoping that they give me another plant. Once they give me another plant, I'm going to pull the whole thing out, remove the old stem, Sammy, come here, and just replant everything. So I, I think that's what I'm going to do. So that's what I did, and then now what I'll do with this plant, because the cuts are new, I will put this plant inside my greenhouse and not allow it to get any water, you know, directly in these cuts. Just water it by hand. And um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do with that. These cuttings are gonna go into dry soil. Tomorrow I'm having a get together here and I wanted to um, fill some pots up with some cuttings. Yes, I was gonna record me potting the plants, but um, I don't have enough battery. So I just want to show you the cuttings that I was able to get. A lot of Kalanchoe, um, mainly a lot of Kalanchoe, um, some money, money Jade or Money Plant, I think it's called. And then this Trailing Jade, one variegated one, and then the other two are not variegated. Um, sorry, you could hear my neighbor. And then the Elephant Bush variegated or Rainbow, if you want to call it that. I don't know the name of this one, but I did cut it because um, it had stretched out looking for light inside my greenhouse. Um, I'm stressing out a little bit on the greenhouse because I put the shade cloth and I feel like I need to take it off again because it's just the sun is not out as much again. So it's like it kind of on and off. I think what I need to do is invest on a um, less percentage of shade because there's different type of percentage of shade. So. I think mine's a little bit high because I got it as a somebody gifted to me and I it was from a nursery and I think they had a lot of plants that needed shade so I think I need to invest in one that has like less shade okay so let me just put one of these together and then I'll show you guys what it looks like I'm using the Dollar Tree pot very easy to punch out those holes just with a screwdriver you tap it it punches out and that's it I'm going to use some super dry soil with lots of drainage. I'm losing light, but this is what I was able to come up with. It looked like a lot of cuttings, but as you can see, I almost wasn't able to fill up um, my pot um, like I normally like it. I would probably want it really packed. But anyways, I think they look really cute in these pots, and I think they'll look pretty on the table. So, um, yep, yeah, that's what I was able to do. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, I will bring these inside because I know it's probably going to rain again. So I'll bring them inside for today. And then tomorrow, hopefully if it's not raining, I'm able to put them on the, on the table. But if it is going to rain, I can put them in my greenhouse or inside. Preferably always in the greenhouse so that the plants don't start to stretch. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye, guys.